Well, we are just days away from Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and joining us this morning to talk about how to live your healthiest life is survivor and author Samantha Harris. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Amy, I'm really happy to be here, and I know we share we share this the, path. We, we do, and when we met, we were talking, and you were telling me, we, I, we were talking about different things that we had gone through with right. breast cancer, and you said, I'm writing a book. Yeah. And I said, when the book is done, please come on the show and talk to us about it. Yes, yes. We met at a Susan G. Komen event, yes. which does so much for women and men here in Southern California for breast cancer. And you know, when I was blindsided by a breast cancer diagnosis at mm -hmm. 40, mm -hmm. being more fit and healthier than I had ever been, or so I thought, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I was... I was, I was sidelined. I wasn't mm -hmm. devastated, but I was definitely sidelined. Mm -hmm. And what it did was ignite something so powerful inside me that it compelled me to learn why I was blindsided mm -hmm. and then what could I do to help others. Mm -hmm. And so I dug into research and you know, leaned into that journalism background and really spoke to so many experts. And what I came up with is that it, it's truly what you put in, on, and around your body that has such a great impact on chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. And Give I made a lot of changes. Examples. Give us some examples. What are you talking sure, about? Sure, well, you know, the, the toxins that are in so many of the beauty products. I mean, here we sit in a mm -hmm. makeup chair yes. every single day for work. Mm -hmm. Women who are getting ready for work and whether they're taking their kids to school and going to PTA meetings mm -hmm. or they're going to a job from, from nine to five punching the clock. We need bulletproof hair and makeup that lasts all day. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, the beauty companies don't have our backs and the mm -hmm. FDA as much as we'd like to believe our government has our backs, the regulations haven't been changed since the 1930s. Mm -hmm. The European Union bans over 1,300 ingredients. Wow. The U.S. only 11. Mm. And so we have to learn as consumers how mm -hmm. to take control of our overall health, reading the ingredients labels mm -hmm. and avoiding the toxic chemicals that when we layer them in our lotion and then our foundation and our mascara, it all adds up over time, mm -hmm. as well as in our foods, the, the toxic, uh, the pesticides on our fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. A lot of us know that. Go organic when you can. Um, but there are ways to take on this challenge, uh -huh. which sometimes it is. It is, yes and not have it break the bank. Mm -hmm. It can be cost effective mm -hmm. and your medical bills will come down. So you're gonna yes. save a lot there. Yes. Uh, but there, so what your healthiest healthy does, this book is really the guide I wish so much someone had given me. Yes. When I had been diagnosed, I was searching for answers. I, tell me what to eat. Tell me how yes. to find the motivation to work out. Uh, how do I know what cleaning products to use and feminine products? I didn't yes. that a whole world opened up to that. Yes. Um, and, and finding organic 100% cotton for that sort of, those needs. Yes. It's something I never even thought of before. Exactly. That's the thing. So many of these things we never think about. In doing your research, what are some key things that you would recommend, not just breast cancer survivors, right, right. but everyone actually eat? Right. Uh, for, for food specifically, the biggest bit of advice I have is to fill up on fiber. Mm -hmm. we, n Americans don't get enough fiber. I believe that the government recommends about 20 uh, grams, 25 grams. Really, we need at least at least 30 to 35 grams of fiber. That comes from whole grains. Fruits and vegetables are one of the best sources of fiber. Mm -hmm. And also seeds, chia seeds and flax seeds, where mm -hmm. you get fiber and omega-3s, which are so important for brain development, mm -hmm. um, fending off Alzheimer's. and. The other bit for, of nutrition advice I have is to fill your plate at least half full of vegetables mm -hmm. at every meal. And I tell you, the green smoothies for a while were like, I can't, how am I putting salad in my mix? smoothies? Hot. But you know what, you just little by little. Mm -hmm. what, what I thought was really important with my book, Your Healthiest Healthy, mm -hmm. is that you can't make sweeping changes overnight that are going to last. And mm -hmm. we're, we all want to have long, healthy lives exactly. and be able-bodied into old age. Mm -hmm. So to do that successfully, we have to make small, tiny steps that are manageable. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of you pick up a, a tip here or there, mm -hmm. integrate it into your daily life, and then as those changes become part of your regular routine, mm -hmm. you go back to the book and say, okay, what nuggets can I figure out next? That mm -hmm. includes getting rid of toxic friendships, knowing your body, building a medical team, and all of that information is there yeah. for guides and tips and tricks. Because we can always learn, yes, always yeah. learn. <laughs> and the book now, it's out. Is it available yet or it almost? Is. Yes, Your Healthiest Healthy is out now, uh, available on Amazon, yes. Barnes & Noble, anywhere books are sold. And it's very exciting. I'll actually be doing my very uh, one of my first book signings. Yes. 
Yeah. So uh, where's that going to be? Uh, today I will be at the Grove, which okay. is of course uh, the Barnes and Noble there, and at two o'clock today. So I'll see you there. Wonderful, Samantha. Thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate thank it, you. and I'm thank so glad you. to see that you are healthy. And you too, Amy. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks so much.